In this video, we are going to discuss different causes of electrical damage in electronic devices and also mention some devices that we can use to protect your circuit. The basic fuse is one of the most common circuit protection devices. It contains a wire filament that will melt or otherwise fail at a specified current, causing an open circuit and protecting downstream electronics. However, there are many other ways to protect your devices, and that includes not just from overcurrent conditions, but also over voltage. The first cause of damage that we will discuss is electrostatic discharge, or ESD. An ESD event happens when two objects or materials at different voltage levels come into contact and the electrostatic charge from one material transfers to the other material. Though this might be harmless to a person, when electrostatic charge is released to an electronic device, it can immediately destroy or shorten the life of the device. Another cause, which is similar to an ESD event, but a lot more powerful, is lightning. When lightning occurs, it can induce magnetic fields and power lines, producing high voltage or high current transients that damage unprotected electronic devices or equipment. A third cause of damage to electronic devices is overvoltage. When the supply voltage exceeds the operating voltage of a circuit, overvoltage occurs. Since electronic devices have supply voltage limitations, operating at voltages beyond the maximum supply voltage will damage them. There are different causes of overvoltage, and lightning can be one of them. The fourth cause that we'll discuss is overcurrent. This is due to a load drawing too much current, or there's a short somewhere in the circuit. Just like in overvoltage, operating beyond the maximum current that an electronic device can handle will damage the device. Now that we've gone over the possible causes of damage in electronic devices, let's talk about some electronic devices that are designed for circuit protection, such as a transient voltage suppressor diode, metal oxide varistor, thyristor surge protector, PTC resettable fuse, thermistor, and a circuit breaker. Transient voltage suppressor diodes, or TVS diodes, are solid state devices designed to protect circuits from transient voltages. A TVS diode acts as a parallel component that protects sensitive semiconductors from ESD, lightning, and other sources of voltage spikes. During normal operation, a TVS diode operates at high impedance, ideally appearing as an open. When a transient voltage occurs, the impedance of the TVS diode temporarily becomes very low and it redirects current to ground instead of letting it enter the circuit. TVS diodes will not be damaged as long as the transient voltage or current does not exceed its maximum ratings. After the transient, it goes back to its high impedance state. There are many types of TVS diodes developed today for different applications. For example, the STF203 device integrates passive components and TVS diodes for USB applications. This device provides termination, filtering, and ESD protection for an upstream USB port. There are also TVS diodes that are designed to protect high-speed data interfaces from ESD and lightning, like the RClamp 2502L, which is used in gigabit Ethernet applications. Another device that is used in circuits to suppress transients is a metal oxide varistor, or MOV. It behaves like a variable resistor that has very high resistance under normal situations, but suddenly drops its resistance to almost zero ohms during transients. Much like with TVS diodes, metal oxide varistors are also connected in parallel to the electronic circuit to be protected. Usually, metal oxide varistors are designed to be operated continuously across AC power lines, just like the V250LT4P. If transients are within the limits of the MOV used, it can be used after multiple surges. Gas discharge tubes, or GDTs, are another type of transient suppressor. GDTs are tubes filled with an inert gas that ionizes at specified voltage, forming short to ground. In that regard, GDTs are similar to MOVs and TVS diodes, but GDTs generally have a higher surge current capability, up to 100 kiloamps. The physical nature of GDTs also means they tend to clamp or fire slower and are commonly used with other protection devices. A thyristor surge protector is a device that utilizes a thyristor to protect circuits from transient voltages. It is also connected in parallel with the load to be protected. But the thing that makes a thyristor surge protector different is that once it conducts, even if the transient has subsided, it will not restore to its non-conducting state unless the current through it is interrupted or drops below the minimum holding current. However, the high current capability of a thyristor surge protector makes it ideal for communication and control lines exposed to lightning. For example, the TISP4030L1AJ is designed to limit over voltages, 
on digital communication lines. We've already discussed circuit protection devices that suppress transient voltages. Now let's discuss devices that protect electronic devices from current surges, just like the thermistor. The thermistor is used as an inrush current limiter. Thermistors are usually used in power supplies to prevent fuses or breakers from blowing due to inrush current. We can also use a PTC resettable fuse to protect a device from overcurrent. For example, if you connect this device in series to a load and the load tries to draw more than 250 milliamps due to a short circuit, this PTC resettable fuse will trip, increasing the impedance and limiting the current that will flow through the load. There's still a small leakage current, but not enough to cause damage. If the short is removed, the PTC resets and allows currents less than 250 milliamps to flow again. The last circuit protection device that we will discuss is a circuit breaker. A circuit breaker is another device that interrupts current flow when it detects overcurrent. For example, this circuit breaker can be connected in series to a load operating less than 250 volts AC. When a current more than 15 amps is detected, this circuit breaker will automatically break to avoid any damage but unlike a fuse, a circuit breaker can be reset to resume to normal operation. Hopefully this video provided you with enough information to select the right circuit protection device that you will use in your next project. I hope you enjoyed this video from DigiKey. Thanks for watching.